talk about five types of troublemaking spirits that attempts to stall out the move of God. And look, this, 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 here's the first thing. The spirit of arrogance attempts to stall out the move of God. The spirit of arrogance. When a person is walking in arrogance, it attempts to stall out. Now, notice I'm saying attempt to stall out because here, if God be for us, who can be against us? Here, the enemy can slow us down, but the enemy cannot stop us. And come on, we speak that corporately and individually. So we just got to recognize and be able to see how the enemy does what he does. But ultimately, when I'm dependent upon God, he cannot stop me. Let's talk about arrogance. You see it there. Arrogance is proud and unpleasant behavior towards other people based on a belief in one's own superiority or greater importance. The spirit of jealousy attempts to stall out the move of God. Jealousy, when, when you look at this word and you unpack it in the original, whether it's Hebrew or Greek, here you see it, that I gave it to you, and I'm not trying to be deeper in the thing, but this is, this is really significant. When you think about jealousy, the, the root word is the idea of warmth or heat. Because the negative side is a strong feeling of possessiveness, often caused by the possibility that something which belongs or ought to belong to one is about to be taken away. It is a self-destructive human emotion similar to envy. See, not only jealousy, not only arrogance, but also the spirit of insecurity. It attempts to stall out the move of God. When I'm insecure, it's not so much of je jealousy, it's like you're taking something from me. Whereas insecurity is, my, it speaks to my own confidence issues. I'm not certain. Look at this. I'm not adequately guarded or sustained. Man, I thought this was so powerful. Because a person that is insecure, they're not properly guarded. A person that's insecure, I'm not properly at, at a place to where I'm watching for the enemy to come in and out of my life whenever he desires to. So when I'm insecure, I'm, I'm prone to make mistakes or fall into traps that I normally wouldn't fall into. But because of my insecurity, I get pulled into it. Not only that, the spirit of self-centeredness attempts to stall out the move of God. Yes, it does. Self-centeredness. Whenever it is, again, the world revolves around me. Every situation, I got to see how I got to come up. Every situation, I got to figure out how, how, well, 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 well they ain't never say nothing about me. And you ain't call my name. And you ain't let this happen. You ain't, no, it's not always about me. The spirit of pride. Because I can be living in pride and walking in pride in such a way that I'll never receive the help or the deliverance. Or the freedom that God said belonged to me because of pride.